the first book I ever wrote was a fantasy novel called The Dawn. Uh, my first one was a new adult fantasy romance called Night My first self-published novel was Hello Funny Day, which was a teen romance. I currently just have one literary work published. I have self-published two novels. Uh, so far, what mostly drew me to self-publishing was the fact that I was able to have control over the whole process of self-publishing rather than having to go through the very long, arduous process of traditional publishing. I kind of wanted to prove myself that I could self-publish a novel and that I could like, follow through and finish like from the start to it being available for people to read. I really liked being in control of everything, like the editing, the formatting, cover design, um, and it still looked with my schedule better, you know, making your own deadlines and kind of being your own boss. The way that I was able to fit this into my schedule was I could have a time where I was focusing all on school, and then when I was finished with homework and then work, because I worked in the school kitchen at the time. Uh, most of the time, I, um, Especially when I was doing school more often, like, it would be during the day, and so a lot of times writing would just happen late at night, or in, like, spurts. A lot of voices, so I work really weird hours sometimes, and so it was just nice to know that whenever I had time, I could be writing. The websites that I looked into was Lulu. I pretty much only really looked into Create Space. Uh, the first one I used was actually Lulu which ends up kind of being a disaster. They were really expensive. I am planning on publishing through CreateSpace. Uh, I went with CreateSpace. I would say the minimum amount of time it takes from going through a completed written manuscript to making it a complete novel, minimum amount of time is a year. It's probably like a couple of years between finished first draft and finished final draft that's published. It really depends on the book. Um, Night's End is pretty fast for me. Um, the summers took about 10 years. The biggest challenge was mostly uh, being able to keep a schedule every day. Like, it, it doesn't seem like it should be that difficult, but I feel like formatting was like an issue just because there's a lot of like little things that happen that you don't like realize. Um, like, just recently I realized my Kindle version was atrocious. Um, probably editing and getting covers done. Like, I'm really lucky and now I know some really awesome designers who have helped me out. The best thing that I consider about self-publishing is the fact that I have all the control that I can have when it comes to self-publishing rather than with traditional publishing. A good experience, just in general, because it's like, can kind of like figure it out and you can do it and it's also um just cool as a writer to go say you know a published book somewhere definitely having complete control over your book and being your own boss is the best i plan on self-publishing i have three fantasy novels i don't know i feel like any future novel could possibly be a self-published one but i also I want to try and do the traditional publishing. Um, yeah, I'm actually rewriting one right now. Um, kind of working on it. And then I'm starting a new science fiction series, so that's going to be a while. The advice that I would give someone who is considering self publishing is do your research, revisions, make sure your book is exactly what you want it to be before you publish. Don't be afraid to constantly edit beta readers and critique partners. Once you have all the knowledge that you need, it should be pretty easy in order to go through the self-publishing process. And Google everything. Talk to people. Like make friends who write or edit or are in design school or, you know, having connections. But you also want to make sure that you know all the steps.